but one thing I think people forget about Jones is he's tough because I hit him with some big shots and he took those big shots and he continued to press and continued to fight. So it's not just his abilities, right? He does have a really strong mind oh, yeah. for fighting because in those tough moments, John Jones is really not running away from the fight. He's kind of going to it. And that is, that is ultimately what makes him so difficult to deal with inside the octagon. John is what I would describe is there's human beings that have different temperament and different minds and different mentality and a ruthless competitive drive that's almost terrifying to the, the ordinary person. That's John Jones. I'm not in any way being disrespectful when I say this, but there's a mean streak to John Jones that you see when he's fighting. And when he's doing his interviews, he hides it. He's kind of, you know, friendly, et cetera, et cetera. But when you put somebody in front of him, they are food, right? He is trying to rip you apart. That edge is really what makes John Jones great in mixed martial arts because he, he finds the edges of the rule book where he can push and really try and do damage to you with, with nasty things. Got that guy, if we were living a thousand years ago, he would be on a horse with the biggest battle axe wading in the back, hacking heads off, and everybody right. would be running. And right. those people have always existed. Right. These dominators have always existed. Yeah. But John is like a genuinely sensitive, intelligent guy right. who's trying to do the right thing. Right. But he's a fucking conqueror. Right. He's a fucking conqueror. John Jones, to me, is the greatest fighter uh -huh. that's lived. Yes, yeah. I will admit that. What, what I think makes champions uh, the best champions is how did you change the game? How did you make an impact on the sport? Not what did you do for yourself? Mm -hmm. Who did you make a difference for? Absolutely. And that's championship stuff. Nobody fights like John Jones. Yeah. Nobody. When I was a champ, it was about avoiding the landmines. And I think Jones has become a master at avoiding the landmine. So yeah. if you have a great left kick, he understands I got to be away from the left kick. Great right hand. It was always about, especially when you're the champ and you're sleeping on satin sheets, right? You got all the money and you got all these young, hungry guys coming at you. You got to just avoid the pitfalls in those championship fights. And he's been able to do that. When you look at the guys that are that are elite in their fields, they do a lot of the invisible things. They do all of the uh, things that are often overlooked. Um, the, the fundamentals are always clean. Uh, there's no glaring weaknesses in John Jones' game. Uh, really, never has been there since he first started. John Jones, listen, for all his attributes, his length, his height, his wrestling prowess, all the rest of it, the head kick power when he knocked out DC, all of that is worthless unless the mind is intact. The brain is the most powerful weapon when it comes to fighting. It is so strategic. I mean, you've obviously heard the expression that mixed martial arts is human chess, and it really is. You've got to have a smart mind. But the fight IQ of John Jones is absolutely ridiculous. And when you look at some of the people that he's beaten, it jumps off the page. We're talking, these are all people he's beaten, amongst many others. Number one. 14 title fight victories, okay? Wins over Shogun Hua, Rampage Jackson, Loyalto Machida, Rashad Evans, Daniel Cormier, Vito Belfort, and Glover Teixeira. All former champions. Yeah, I mean, that, that was just a hard one. I just watched him and go, man, that guy's good. And it was okay to look up to John. It was okay to admire John, because I was in a different weight class. I was an 85 pounder, he was a 205 pounder. I'm 32 years old, he's 19. I'm never gonna see this guy. So to sit and admire and see some of this, see him catch legs and spin to elbows, see him come to uppercuts and to flying knees and, and then go and try to copy and emulate that stuff, I was safe, because I'm never gonna have to deal with him. All of a sudden, I'm a 205 pounder, and they got me in a world title fight. Here we are on the other fighter, and now I'm walking out to fight John. I did not uh, I did not think I was going to be John Jones the night that I fought John. John Jones' mind is uh, very strong. He 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 can visualize he can visualize something and and and, and manifest it. Mm -hmm. And he can do that real time. Mm -hmm. He he he's, he 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 his mind is why he's such a good fighter. So it's just like just like for I know it sounds strange but just like um Morpheus told um, Neo like right before they was doing the the, 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 the martial arts, he was like, you think that's air you breathing? You know what I'm saying? No one's really doing what he was doing back in the day. No one's really pushing things forward like he was. Like, McGregor had the same effect. There's, there's certain fighters that at certain times of, Anderson Silva certainly was one of those fighters. Aldo, again. Occasionally, there's a fighter that every time they fight, they change the way that sparring looks in MMA gyms around the world the following week. 
And I, I feel like we've been short of one of those fighters for a while now. Like McGregor was that guy, everyone all of a sudden was a big wide southpaw that was pinging everyone with their left hand. When it was Anderson Silva, everyone was front kicks to the face and body. You know, with John Jones, it's the oblique kicks to the side, but there's so much more to John Jones's game. Let's remember, spinning elbows, question mark kicks, oblique kicks, that nasty one, the side push kick to the lead leg, front kicks to the lead knee, as I say. They were devastating people. Now, they're commonplace in the sport, but John Jones was one of the innovators in using those. So fight IQ and the fact that he's an innovator, come on. All day for John Jones. Yeah, he's got more patient and he's got more cerebral. And you expect that as you get older, you know, you know more about the sport. And, and now it's just a matter of being able to match what you know with your ability to hit the mark, right? Be able to still get there. And that's the whole problem when you get older. Like when you get older, you can't hit those marks. But John Jones, he still can. John Jones, he has a great mindset. When it comes to fighting, this guy's IQ is out of control. He's so creative in there and he almost can see things before they happen. You know, he has a good way of steering his opponents and get, making them do what they don't want to do. He has a way of making you watch him when you don't want to watch him. And that's part of the problem. Even when you're training for him, you're like, watch out for this, watch out for that. He starts moving around doing his thing. Next thing you know, you're watching John Jones instead of fighting him. Some people don't really watch tape or they only watch a little bit. They let mm -hmm. their coaches do the work. John Jones studies everyone. He studies their tendencies. He's get it. He gets in his mind how when you throw that left kick, you, di you make this little step with your right foot. You might do this thing when you uh, shoot for a takedown, where you keep your leg on, uh, uh, you keep your head on one side every time. You might do this thing when, when someone throws a right hand, you always lean to the left. There is not a fight on earth that I will back down for. I don't care. Yeah. I go there, and whatever happened, happened. This is the sport. Uh, and definitely, John John is not the guy. I mean, he might be the best fighter. Uh, ever but he's not the guy that i'm running away from no not him i'll fight john jones uh twice a month uh, i'll give you some inside scoop is they didn't know they were going to get stipe and, and john jones was asked will you fight sergey pavlich he was asked this behind the scenes and he said yes john jones is not scared of anybody i mean i don't love john jones but i will tell the story the way it happened and to make believe that john jones is scared to fight somebody is false because you're looking at a guy who's not only huge, six foot four, six foot five, longest reach in the heavyweight division, now Stefan Struz retired, but he's got this creativity that he can apply to people that can't stop him doing it. I think no matter how much he tries to camouflage it, it comes out between the bells of the rounds and uh, that might be a shock to the system for anybody. Yeah, I do think there's definitely a wisdom that was not there before. And in terms of the fight genius, see, that's a big part of all of this because there's no de no denying the God-given ability, right? The natural fighting ability and fighting instincts. Uh, the God-given frame, I mean, has huge hands, which you cannot say about every single heavyweight. But in terms of the fight genius, right? And I don't say this even tongue-in-cheek, like working smarter, not harder, I can guarantee you that he'll work harder for the Stipe fight. I know that surreal gain is only one heavyweight and there's many more that's looking at the chops to get their opportunity to face me and I cannot wait to, to, uh, to meet these challenges. One thing I'm very aware of is that only one of them can fight me at a time and if you give me time to study your game, study your strengths, uh, I will come up with a great, great strategy and I'll come with full confidence and I'll, I'll be uh, expected to win. I've just, I've, I've fully joined the John Jones bandwagon after watching his early career. And I kind of hope we're going to see that creativity out of him again, because he may well be the best talent we've ever seen in mixed martial arts. And uh, we should all be looking forward to seeing him back in competition. It's My mindset is just to fight a few times. You know, I, I've, I've been blessed to not have received too many concussions. I want to save my intelligence and my brain for, for my kids, raising my kids and, and for future business. So I, I, I believe that I only have a few more fights left in me and then I'll, I'll go on to being Jonathan Jones and, and no more with John Bones.